So, if you're at the stage where you have lots of these, more especially, lots of tanks, and you're into rebuildables, or you might not even be into rebuildables, you might just like a lot of stock coil tanks, because let's face it, when it comes to stock coilers, there is a lot of choice out there, but... If you have a lot of these kits kicking around, and more especially a lot of tanks or atomizers in general kicking, kicking around, you need a place to store them. Now, if you watch the UK vape show, um, any UK vape show, the recent ones anyway, you'll probably notice, and I don't know if this camera will pick it up, it should if I just tilt that there, Atty stand, there's another one underneath it. Uh, that's the one I'm going to be showing you, and there's another one beside that, and there's about two or three other Atty stands right behind this camera on the shelves in the wall. Yeah, okay, I admit it, I'm a reviewer, have been for the past decade, and there is a lot of tanks and drippers and stock coil tanks kicking around here. But even if you only, even if you're only using three or four stock coil tank kits, you've still got three or four stock coil tanks. You need a place to store them. Gaz, of the cap of flatness, better known as Gaz Flat Cap, he's a reviewer here in the UK, as you probably know, has come up with this. It's called the, uh, is this coming out the right way? Yeah, it is, there we go, right there. It's called the Atty Stack. It's a 3D printed system, which Gaz himself is printing up over at his house, and it's Gaz's own designs that are coming into this, and it's basically a way to store your atomizers, but unlike the normal 3D printed atty stands that are out on the market, as you can see, this one stacks, hence the name atty stack. Now, this is one that's been branded with the Vaping with Vic lettering down there. However, Gaz also sent in this, which is marketed as the starter kit or the beginner kit for someone that just wants a basic atty stand. So how well does this thing perform? Only one way to find out. It's time, and this is two weeks in a row I've said this, it's time for an accessory review. So what do you get? If you buy this, and it's safe to actually show the URL because you don't actually vape on this, so fuck you, YouTube, anyway. <laughs> it's like, this is the beginner kit. Gaz is calling it the starter kit, and you get all the bits in here that you need to basically put together your own first Atty stand. This is the basic model that you'll find on the Atty Stack website. Comes with very simple instructions, which suits me just fine because I hate reading instructions. Very simple instructions to put it together. If we pull all these bits out here, this is all the different levels. And then of course, you've got the poles that put it all together. You have got 50 millimeter length poles. Let's zoom this in a bit. You've got 50 millimeter length poles and you've got a smaller set of 70 millimeter length poles. Now, of course, the longer the pole, the bigger the distance between the tier levels. So let's have a look at what's going on here. You have got several different options here. This is obviously, do I have a borrow tank sitting here? Yes, I do. That's obviously for borrow tanks, kind of obvious. This is for your plain old everyday atomizer. There, this is a, whoops, that's a Twisted Mess is squared. No, Twisted Mess is 24. There you go, Twisted Mess is 24. That pops in there like that. And then you've got various small holes and various larger holes here for different bits and pieces, different tanks, different drippers that can basically just slip in. And you've got the base stack there that, of course, says Atty Stack. This is the base. So that's that's the base there, and if you look at the instruction manual, it actually says, if you actually have this the right way around, there we go. Uh, one, your new kit may come with a number of different size trays and rods. Generally speaking, the taller rods are best for big tanks and batteries, and the smaller rods are best for borrows and storage. So... It's basically all explained. Each and every one of these tiers has the Atty Stack logo at the front. It's essentially up to you, really. It's essentially up to you what 
way round you have this. Now, personally speaking, I would have the atomizers at the bottom. That's what I would personally do. And what I'm going to be doing here is I am going to be popping on the 50 millimeter ones on the lower stack. And I'm going to be popping the borrow tank on the middle tier, putting the 70 millimeters on the borrow tank to give it that extra clearance. And then we'll pop this little fella on the top. So all we need to do here, it's very easy to put this together. <laughs> there we go. Hell, if you actually pull, come on, Vic, what are you doing? There we go. So you basically pop that in there like that. You pop that in there like that. It's like a big jigsaw puzzle, essentially. That goes there. It's all push to fit. All of it's push to fit. That goes there. We then get our borrow tank section. And those slip into the holes that you're seeing at the base. So that goes there. That goes there. Give it a wiggle so it takes into the pole. Just a quick wiggle. And then what you do is... Ah, and the lens decided to drop down. And that's it. Oh, hold on. See this bloody lens? This is an old, old lens and the lock mechanism that stops the thing from zooming in. It's basically dumped. So that's the bottom two tiers done. Well, the bottom tier and the middle tier. This needs to be lined up a bit better. Hold on. This all the way in? Yes, it is. That's better. Now, we're going to be popping in the 70mm rods to give extra clearance for the usually slightly taller borrow tanks. So we're going to pop in the 70mm rods up here. That goes in there like that. That goes in like that. I mean, it's that easy. Even a ham-fisted fucking idiot like me can do it. And if I can do it, anybody can. There we go. <clears throat> pop that in there. Pop that in there. Give it a quick thump just to lock everything in place. These two in. Really, Lens? Really? Fine, you just stay down then. Give it a wiggle. And guess what, folks? There's the arty stack all together. And of course, the borrow tanks are going to sit in here like that. I'm going to get my... Uh, what have I got here? I'm going to get my goon. I'm going to pop the goon in there. Come on. There we go. And that's us with the arty stack basically all popped together. And because these are actually stacked, again, as I said at the beginning of this video, there has been other 3D printed atomizer stands that have been released onto the market, either as a hobbyist venture or in some cases as an actual business venture. But they're all on the two-dimensional plane, flat. They don't go upwards. They don't go in the Z-axis. As far as I know, and I've seen a lot of these, a, a, a lot of these 3D printed atomizer stands, as far as I know, this is the first stacked one that's came out onto the market with a stacking mechanism that's very, very easy to put together. So this is the beginner one, and this is the one that Flatcat put together for me. And you can see, even with the more expensive option of this, the basics is still there. The only difference is there's a lot more atomizer space here at the base plate compared to the base plate of the of the beginner one but if you are vaping on a lot of devices and you're struggling for space to actually store the different atomizers that you've got the atty stack might be an idea for you going forward because it's not just a case of somewhere to store your atomizers, which is what this basic one is all about. There's also other options that have got mod holders as well. So you can have a bigger base plate that takes up more of a footprint, mind you, but you've got another place to store mods or other such devices that you have got that you have got in your rotation that you don't want cluttering up on your table. Basically, it's a good place or a good way, should I say, to store different atomizer devices, not just the tanks, not just the drippers, not just the borrows, but in some cases with some configurations of the Atti stack system, mods as well. And here's the thing, 
Christmas is coming up. I think you know where I'm going with this. Now, if you're the partner of a vapor and you happen to be watching this and you're looking at your partner's desk and it's strewn with tanks that look like this sitting on their side with nowhere to go, you might want to visit Attistack. They are 3D printed. However, Gaz has managed to price these at a level where most people can afford the basic version, which is this. Now, obviously, the much bigger stands like this fella here are going to cost a little bit extra. But as a Christmas present for a vapor who doesn't have the bigger stands like I've got sitting here on the table or who simply doesn't have an atomizer stand, something like this is going to come in very handy. And if I can put this together, anybody can. Anybody can. I even managed to put this bigger one together and I didn't break anything either because, hey, I'm a ham-fisted idiot. I'll be the first to fucking admit it. Anyway. <laughs> Big thanks to the wonderful person that is Gaz of the Flat Cappiness who is now Gaz of the Stack of Attiness URL because it's not a vaping device YouTube. I can put the URL and URL to the Atty Stack is going to be down there in the description. Big thanks to Gaz Flat Cat for sending over the big personalised version and the small basic version for review. If you thought this review sucked, you know what to do in the below. Thumbs, give me a thumbs up. Very first at the top, you can latest video, no matter what video you're watching in the channel. And if that's latest WhatsApp, WhatsApp Sunday update vlog in the middle, shout out to the hashtag Flow Farmy, the Patreon subscribe stars, and the YouTube members for keeping Vaping Work afloat financially. That's just keeping me in a job. And underneath me is the Vaping Bit logo. Click on that to subscribe. As always, folks, thanks for watching and have a good one.